All right, time for another solvent trap video. And this one, solvent traps the collection. What I've done is I've gathered up four different sizes of a very similar style of this device. And we're just going to take a look at it and I'll show you what the differences are, or different sizes are of this thing. Now, in the past, I made two other videos on, on these uh, things and got a huge amount of hits. And I had the comment section open, and I mean, there are all kinds of comments in that. But I closed the comment section because I'm not promoting or selling these. People were putting links to where you can buy them. People from somewhere were offering to sell them to individuals or what, I, I don't, okay. And there were a lot of other weird questions and stuff. Uh, why the interest in these things, I'm not quite sure, okay, but I've also, I also got a lot of comments from people um, telling me that what I was doing is illegal, uh, you know, I'm going to be visited by the authorities, they're going to shut my video down, uh, all this other stuff. I was accused of trying to have some kind of secret hookup to sell these or something, you know, a lot of nonsensical stuff. So the comment section will be closed. And please don't email me with any questions because I'll explain everything in the video about these. And I'll explain to you uh, other points about this. So asking me any further questions if you do or send me any comments about this I'm just going to delete your email okay this is kind of just for information and the thing is I believe all of us know what's right what's wrong okay uh, because if you didn't you really wouldn't be searching for a video with solvent trap in the title okay if you didn't know what they were or anything like that so, you know, I doubt somebody just stumbled along and is totally dazed and confused, all right? So, first thing, legal, illegal, okay? As these devices set, okay, there are two, aluminum tube, they have one end is solid, one end is drilled and tapped, and there's little bits of metal inside that are solid, okay? There is nothing illegal about this as it is, okay? Nothing whatsoever. Um, where you can get, they're all over the internet. Just search for it. They're everywhere, okay? They're, they're no secret. They're not hidden. Uh, they're not on the black web. There you can find them on eBay and Amazon, okay? So no big secret. Another thing, when you usually buy these, they come from outside the U.S. Some of them did. One or two of these did. This one, I believe, came from somewhere inside the U.S., but this larger one came from outside. And when I got the box, you could see where it went through customs. The box was opened. They took these things out of the internal little boxes, disassembled them, examined them, put them back in, resealed the box, and sent them to me. So, the fact that they're illegal and you can't get them through the country, that's another lie, okay? Now, what is illegal? Where, where do we get to the illegal part? I think that's the reason why people look at these videos, is because, yes, there is potential uh, for something that could be illegal or get you in trouble, okay? And I think that's what draws the people. But it's kind of like this. Uh, everyone knows what a pressure cooker is, right? You have a little pot that you seal and you heat up steam and it cooks food. Well, if I was to make a video telling you to go to Walmart, buy a pressure cooker, and modify it in a way to turn it into some kind of a device that isn't for cooking food, okay, but for doing harm, that is illegal, okay? Same with these things here. These devices have been around for a long time. There were, you know, there were several websites that sold them here in the U.S. Uh, they were pretty big, and I remember years ago. But what happened was, they were, they were shut down. 
And the reason they were shut down is because they promoted these devices as something else and gave explicit instructions on how to modify this. This is why these sites were shut down. This is not what this video is about. That is where you're going to get in trouble, okay, is to promote this as something else other than a solvent trap, to demonstrate, instruct, or show people how to modify this to make it something other than a solvent trap is probably illegal. Now, there's been a big debate politically. Uh, there are several laws out there that are being uh, put up, or bills, I should say, that will make these illegal. If they get passed, these will be illegal. Okay, they are not at this point. Same with the 80% AR-15 lower or 80% polymer 80 uh, pistol frame. Okay, these things are legal. You can buy them. There's no restrictions on them. The only time there's a problem with legality is when you perform a modification to said item. Okay, and that's what it's all about. Okay. Now, these things here. I got three different sizes of these devices, and I'll just explain how they come. And like I said, you, you just do an internet search, and you can find these, okay, anywhere. And they, they range in quality. Some of these got the qualities pretty crappy. Some of them the quality is pretty good. And the price. You can find them where someone's trying to get rid of them and buy them fairly cheap, or you can go and see where someone's selling them and they're quite expensive. So, you know, that's up and down, do so at your own risk. But I'll bring the camera in, we'll take a look, and I'll just give you an idea of what these different things are. Okay, basically they come in sizes. And you know, depending on where you buy them, they call them different things. Six inch, eight inch, it's a six inch, and that's uh, ten inch. So, and then you might use the term C size, D size, F, or whatever. So we start with the basic one, the one I made my first video about. And all of these are of similar design. You got a tube with two ends, okay? Solid on one, drilled and tapped on the other. Now, what you're going to find is most of these will be offered in two sizes. Half inch 28 and 5 eighths 24. What is the difference? Basically the size of the thread in the hole. And another thing, even though these are the same size, the parts do not interchange. Okay, the large one on the right is 5 8 24, the small one is half inch 28. And those are basically the two sizes that they come in, no matter what size. They'll offer you one or the other, or some of the more unusual ones will offer you two end caps with two different thread sizes. And what you get in the tube, the 6 inch one now, you get a spacer and sure I got them all out. Give you the correct count. Yep. So, it's basically a hollow tube threaded on the ends. Solid cap on one side. There's a six inch one. And these little cups. And they're all designed the same way. No matter what the size, they all have a similar design. And they're stackable. And in this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these and this spacer. Now the spacer measures about an inch, 210 thousandths long, and goes in there. And you put them all in. Spacer. 
and then oh, thread the tube back. Now the outside diameter of this tube is about one inch and fifty-five thousandths, and the overall length of this tube is just about six inches. So they're correct, six inch. Okay, this one I believe is an eight inch. Put it back together and see. Now I found this. You don't see these, but this is an eight inch. If you look around, you find different sizes and variations. I found this one. It's 8 inches long, 1 inch 50 thousandths, 5 thousandths smaller in diameter. Basically, I guess it's all the same. And like I said, even though it looks the same, they're slightly different. These end caps will not interchange. So you have your spacer in there. hollow tube and spacer in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these cups or whatever. So the bigger tube has more of these things in it and the spacer, which I believe, measure that, is one inch and four hundred thousand, so it might be a little longer. So that's basically the difference. OD is about the same on either one of these, and uh, same deal. Some of these have divots. Now some of the ones coming in, the newer ones, do not. Starting to find some that are not having the uh, divots put in them. So it's hit or miss. Now the quality on both of these is pretty good. Okay. And you can get them in the black anodized. You can get them in the raw aluminum. Generally they come these two ways, then there are some places that sell them in designer colors, purple, red, green, whatever. Okay, you can get these anodized in different colors, there's all kinds of strange things out there. But I just got the black and some of these I got, which is the plain aluminum. Now, this is kind of like the next size you go up. I believe this is a 6 inch. Yes, it is. Six inches long. But the outside tube, instead of one inch, it's almost an inch and a half. One inch, 440,000. So it's probably metric. And again, same setup. Solid end piece in the back. It's going to be half inch 28 or 5 eighths uh, 24, either or. But these here are a little strange. Now this one, the quality on this the machining is rough on this particular example. Uh, the inside of the tube very rough and uh, so like I said the quality will vary on these things too. There is no set standard. They're kind of a novelty. You know if you're looking for precision and stuff like that this, this you know these things don't have it. Okay that's another thing to bear in mind. I don't know if you can see it or not, but inside the tube, the machine is pretty machining is pretty rough. And in this particular one, again, we have that same style. Like I said, all of these are shaped the same. Some of these things come with different internal shaping, but I'll do a video on one or two odd ones I have at another point in time. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six seven. Okay, just like the other uh, six inch. But on this here, I've noticed that the spacer is machined on one side. 
So when it goes into the tube, it'll fit on like that. If you put it any other way, it doesn't fit, the tube don't close. So this is something unusual. This thing only goes together one way, like that. And like I said, the machining was fairly rough on this, so buyer beware. And you can get these black, different size threads, different colors. And like I said, even though if you get them, they're similar sizes, these threads and stuff are different on them. Okay, now for the big ones. These are the 10 inch. Now I have heard of a 12 inch, okay, but I just, you know, haven't found any, and they're, now you're getting to where they're expensive. The bigger these things get, the more people are going to want for them, or the more complex they are. And like a 12-inch one was upwards, you know, it, it was a reason. It wasn't worth getting. But I've seen where they make these a little bit bigger, be two inches bigger. So I assume it's going to be the same ordeal, just more internal parts. For a longer length. So that's 10 inches and also the diameter of the outside of the tube on this. This is the largest one. 1 inch 665 thousandths. So this has also got a much larger outside diameter tube. Yeah. And again, like I said, quality of the machining varies from each different component. And these here also have similar design. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine of these cups and then this spacer here kind of thin, goes on top, and this is not beveled. The other one was kind of thicker. This is pretty much paper thin. So that's another thing. You know, these, these things really aren't designed with any type of uniformity or, or, or whatever. Okay, and like I said, these end caps are not all the same size. This one, while it is not machined that terrible, it's got a nice finish in there. Uh, quality is a lot better, but like I said, kind of loose. But that's the look at that there. So that's your basic sizes in this style, or whatever you like. Okay. Curiosity. Here we go. 10 inch, 6 inch, this is an 8 inch small and 6 inch small. Like I said, there may be a 12 inch, but now we're getting into something that, uh, you know, is going to cost me money and it's really not worth my time in that to, to fool with it. So that's where they are. Now, like I said, there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube people doing all kinds of different things with these things you know so if you're really interested in these watch them and people explain things uh, you know the legality but like I said as they are they're not illegal okay again it's what you do with them or what your intent is to do with them uh, like I said they've been around for a long time they're pretty much curiosity novelty um, I think you can attach these to an air gun or something I, I don't know but 
Well, there's the collection. I hope you enjoyed the video.